I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll work with integer exponents. In this series actually one by one I'm taking examples on working with integer exponents, radicals and rational exponents. Go through these videos all of them all three of them to understand complete concept. Basically they are all rational exponents right now the question here is how to solve equations with integer exponents now when we say integer exponents we are trying to say x to the power of uh, positive numbers x to the power of negative numbers right all these are integer right it could be x to the power of uh, I mean uh, let us say x to the power of we don't know and we need to find uh, what this is right solving equation like this right so, so these are the type of equations which you might get where the exponents are integers we are saying, right? So we'll solve these equations. Let me actually make equations now. So let us say we have x square is equal to, so let me write an uh, easy number to work with. And for a cubic equation, let me take 27. And here, as you know, we took x to the power of y as equals to 1. Now let us see how to solve each one of them. First one, whenever you have x square and you're looking for some number to solve, what should we do? We should square root both sides, right? So the idea is to do square root both sides. That is what we do. And whenever you do square root, incorporate plus and minus sign. That is very important because uh, you know square of a negative number is also positive correct so that is a key thing to remember so square both sides and incorporate plus and minus sign so that is the gist of it correct so let's do that so let's do square root so we have x square equals to 64 so when i do x square root so i write x is equals to square root of 64 and then we write plus and minus. So this is the step which I'm trying to explain. So square root, when you do square root on this side, you get x equals to plus and minus square root of 64, right? You have to incorporate both the signs. And now you get your solution as plus and minus eight, right? So that is your solution. At this stage, you can check uh, minus eight square is equals to 64 and 8 square is also 64 correct so that is the correct solution indeed right that's the first part now let's look into the next equation and this time we have x to the power of minus 3 equals to 27 now this minus negative exponent let me write negative exponent is leading to basically reciprocal so so the equation x to the power of minus 3 could be written as 1 over x to the power of 3, right? So we could actually rewrite this equation as 1 over x to the power of 3 equals to 27, right? So that is the way we should go about. You could also do 1 over x equals to 1 over 27. You could have done that also, but we'll follow this method now. Now, since this is to the power of 3, to solve this equation, we will do 1 over 3. So what we are going to do in the next step is, we are going to take cube root. So in the next step, what we do is, let me show you the step here. So what we have here is cube, right, equals to 27. To find x, we will do the cube root of this. Cube root. Cube root is kind of one third power, right? So cube root of 27. This is what is our next step. So do cube root on both the sides. Once you do cube root, you get one over x to the power of three times one over three gives you one, right? So you get one over x equals to cube root of 27, which is three. Now since one over x is three, x should be equal to one over three. So just cross multiply to write down your answer. So that is how you should be solving uh, equation when you have negative exponent. So remember, negative exponent leads to 
writing it as a reciprocal and then follow standard way of doing it. Okay. Now here we have a very interesting case. We have x to the power of y equals to 1. Now what should be y? Now clearly y should be equal to 0 since anything to the power of 0 is equals to 1. Correct. So that is important to understand. That is why I gave you this equation. Now let me also discuss two other examples. If I say I have x square equals to negative 4, then what is the solution? Square, x square is always positive, right? So it can never be negative. Therefore, in this case, what we have is no solution, right? So in this case, we have no solution. So you will also get conditions where you may not have any solution to your equation. Remember that, correct? x square, no solution, right? However, if I would have written here a question which says x square equals to negative 8, right? I mean x cube equals, let me make it x cube equals to negative 8. In that case, we do have a solution. Since we could write this as x equals to cube root of negative 8 or to the power of 1 over 3, and your solution is negative 2, right? So, so cube root of negative 8 is negative 2. So, if it is a odd power, correct? So, odd power, then we could get negative results, right? But if it is even power, then we will not get negative results. To summarize, let us look into the graph of both the functions. I, I'm just sketching these so that you kind of remember how square root functions like this is the graph of let us say square root of x right square root of x you will see square root graph is always positive it is kind of like this however if we have a cube root graph in that case the graph will be kind of like this so it is of x right so let us say this is x right so this is y equals to cube root or cube root of x so what you notice here is that if this power is uh, in general even right if it is even x to the power of let us say 1 over n where even n right and here we have a graph of uh, x to the power of 1 over n where n is odd where n is odd right so in that case odd let me write odd integer, right? So we'll write odd integer or we'll say odd number, natural number, let us say. Okay. So we'll not mix it with integers, right? Minus will include reciprocal. That is all, correct? So we'll say when it is n is odd, in that case, the answers could be negative or positive. However, if n is even, then we are only looking for solutions which will be positive. So this x square equals to minus 4 will not have any solution. However, x cube equals to minus 8 will have a solution, right? So I've taken up good numbers for which we got whole numbers as solution. But remember, you can use calculator and find solution which could be rounded to few decimal places, right? So for you to practice, let me give you some questions. Try to find what is the solution for x square equals 2 let us say 16 so let this be your question 1 remember to write both the answers and question 2 if I say x to the power of 10 is equals to 5 round the answer to two decimal places you can use calculator to solve this question right I hope that helps thank you and all the best